Recently, I had a surprise while returning home from a trip, changing planes. I was squeezing out of an economy class seat, grabbing my bag and running through a crowded corridor. It wasn't a lot of fun. But then I got to the gate of my final flight home, and I was greeted with the notice that I'd been upgraded to business class because of my frequent flyer status in the airline. I felt like I'd won the lottery. These kind of upgrades are all around us. Hotels reward loyal customers for you know, an extra night stay. Coffee shops can give you a tenth drink free or maybe give you a discount if you come back later that afternoon. And big game companies are already starting to follow suit and apply that to games. Now, providing that kind of personalized touch is within easy reach of all game developers. Hi, I'm Noah Falstein, a developer advocate for games, and I'm here to tell you about the new Player Stats API that's now part of Google Play Game Services. Making successful games can be tough, but knowing a few key statistics about each of your players makes it easier for you to identify individual gamer styles, patterns, preferences, and then you can customize your responses to match each of those individuals. For free-to-play games, it's really helpful to identify your big spenders and encourage them with some special game power-ups or maybe a bonus match to their spending habits. When you spot a player who's been gone for a long time and is coming back after a long absence, you can make their re-entry a little bit easier by dropping difficulty a notch, or maybe you can turn tutorial options back on. Finding your most loyal veteran players lets you offer them easy options to tell their friends about your game without spamming the new players who may still be on a learning curve. And what's more, the Player Stats API is free and easy to incorporate. Making a, a quality statistical package can really be time-consuming and, and, frankly, a pain to create it, to maintain it. So why not use ours instead? Now, big companies who are managing many games will have different needs than individuals or small startups, and the API takes that into account. A large company with their own infrastructure can call the stats server to server, handling communications with the game clients on their own. A smaller company, though, can call the API directly from their game client, and then later, if their needs grow to justify it, they can switch over to a server-to-server -server model. So how do you incorporate the Player Stats API into your game? Well, first you create a Google API client object and configure it to use the Games API and Scope. Then you use code like this to retrieve statistics on a player. You can pick and choose which stats are relevant to you, and then you can make a tailored response using those so you can add your own code to customize the gamer's experience for your specific needs and make them feel valued. So for example, you might give a novice player some extra help or a veteran player a power-up as an incentive to come back and use it in their next session. It may not be as satisfying as a business class flight upgrade, but even free tokens at the right time can make someone's day. Here's a link to some additional documentation if you want more detail or suggestions on how to use the API. Those steps will get you started on using the Player Stats API so you can refine your game and target those responses to players individually, make them happier, and make your games more profitable. So have fun and let us know in comments if you have any new ways that you've thought of using the stats to make your games better. Thanks.